I have to move this hay over to the JL Ranch. I'm only going to take four rolls, but I'm going to try to load the hay a little bit differently than what I did last time. I'm going to try to load it over here on its end so it can't roll. All right. Now, okay, that was not that bad. Let's see, friends, if we can stick it a second time. Uh, I mean, once, you know what they say, is just chance. If you can do it twice, maybe it was just a strange occurrence. Let's find out. Okay, and then don't forget, friends, I'm working with one hand. I have my other hand holding my phone. All right, get ready. Can we have us a boom shakalaka moment here? Can we have us a boom shakalaka laka 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 moment? Let's find out, Paul. Oh, Lord. Okay, all together now. Boom shakalaka laka 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 laka. Hey folks, Lester here, and uh, today I've come over to the sanctuary to grab a couple of rolls of hay, and I'm also going to go ahead and take my tractor back with me. Now, you guys know that we are blessed to have a tractor here at the sanctuary. We also have our tractor over at the JL Ranch property, two big tractors that we are actually still paying a note on, and we will for a few more years. But here's the problem. This tractor here is not getting enough use. I mean, as a matter of fact, in the last three months, it's been used two times. You guys remember that we used it once to move hay off the big field over into our barn. And then we used it a second time to mow the donkey pasture not too long ago. So in saying so, everyone knows that machinery that has moving parts, lubricated moving parts, has to be moved. And for a tractor just to sit here week upon week upon week without getting cranked up or getting used, it's not good for the tractor. Uh, now we did give Ellie and Megan uh, Jamie's little Mahindra. That's the one that we had as a sponsorship. Uh, the sponsorships have no note. We've already done all of the things we had to do for that Mahindra tractor. So Ellie and Megan have a small tractor they can use when they need to use something. That's a little Mario Kart that they always joke about. Ellie takes his tractor off and he takes the trash down. He does minor things around the farm. Uh, the few times I had to bury an animal, he can take the tractor and you know bury it, what he needs to do. And so that's all they really want and all they really need. Now this tractor here is not big enough to move hay and that's gonna be the only issue. But I told Ellie that the reason that we have bought the big trailer is so that I can do stuff like this right over here. I can come by with the tractor, load the hay that I need, take the tractor back home with me. Now, normally we can get 10 rolls of hay on this one trailer here, but in this case, we're only gonna be able to take four because we'll be hauling the tractor along with this. But uh, when all is said and done, this tractor is too valuable a commodity. We pay too much per month on this tractor to have it just sit here. So we are going to take it back to one of the properties with us so I can keep using it. Um, and, you know, it needs to be used. Everything with moving part needs to be used. I think that you guys understand that concept. Um, you may be worried about what happens if L.E. needs a roll of hay for his babies. Well, here's the thing. With only coming to get four rolls of hay at a time, I'll have to be back, she's probably twice a month. And so anytime that I come over to load hay for myself... I'll just simply move a roll for LE wherever he wants it, for the donkeys or for his little goats. So nothing to worry about over here. That's what's going on at the sanctuary today. Uh, I will add one other side note. And uh, I am in no way implying that LE and Megan are being negligent at all. Even though many of y'all are going to jump at, you're going to, you're just biting the bit to be mean to LE and Megan. I mean, that's a shame. But uh, listen, they cannot seem to keep their goats off the tractor. And you guys know that about a month ago, we had to pay a guy to come out and do some rewiring. Their little goats had chewed a bunch of wires off. And so goats are like that. But before you sit there and point fingers at Ellie and Megan, don't forget that Jamie and I also have our own fair share of troublemakers with uh, Finn and Starla and our new bottle babies. Listen, and I'm not trying to justify anything besides the fact that 
whenever we had the Hurricane Harvey experience and we were trying to go by and redo all of the wiring, guys, all the fencing, that was a long time before we were making videos and making any money out of all of this. So what I had to do, I had to buy a cattle panel. Cattle panels are made to keep cows in and out. They're not made for goats. But I'll say this, they're about half the price of a goat panel. A goat panel has a whole lot smaller holes. They have a whole lot more wires, which is why they're so much more expensive. And so what I did for a, for a fix is I come by and just did the entire thing with cattle panels, not goat panels. And that's why these little goats can get out. It's the same way at Longhorn Lusters, and it's the same way here at the sanctuary. Little goats can get out, all right? And so don't sit here and try to knock Ellie and Megan and take a jab at them for having irresponsible goats or being bad owners because little goats are going to get out, especially if they were raised in a bottle. They want to be with you. So it's no different than your dogs that may sometimes roam the neighborhood or, you know, get out of your yard, want to visit neighbors and whatnot. Goats are the same way. Problem is when these little goats get out, they love to play Uncle Wetter. And they jump on my tractor and they just, <laughs> they can't help but start chewing on stuff. So we're going to go ahead and take the tractor back with us. And you might say kill two birds with one stone. It's going to get a lot more use over there. And we'll be able to keep the goats off of it. So do not, do not, please do not sit there and take your jab at Ellie and Megan. This is nothing about Ellie and Megan. It's the fact that this tractor is a big tractor. It's bigger than what Ellie and Megan know how to use. They don't feel comfy using it. And... It's dangerous. This tractor's too big for Jake to use. So before you start trying to throw stones, this is a big ass tractor. And uh, and besides that, there are a lot of tractors on the hill here. We got this tractor for Bud and Stephanie. We got Uncle Dan's tractor. Now, of course, Jake's gonna take his tractor off to his new property, but we got my dad his tractor. So there's a lot of tractors here if anyone needs a tractor bigger than the little Mario Kart. Alrighty, that's what's going on today. Thank you guys. I cannot talk mess about Ellie and Megan's goats because I have no goats over here, but I do have cows. And look what my Longhorns have done to my tractor. Yes, look what the Longhorns have done to my tractor. They have somehow either got their mouths or their horns over here and peeled out all of this rubber stuff that goes there to keep water out of your engine. Oh, guys, I don't know what to do. Our animals are out of control. Seriously. And don't forget, about a month ago, they popped off my hydraulic hose. And I lost a lot of fluid that way. So these guys are a mess. All of them are. They're all just a mess. All right, what I'm going to attempt to do is to take some of this rock and spread it out a little bit closer to the concrete here where the RV's at. The uh, Victory truck driver could not get it that close because of the dump bed. So there's a pile over here. I'm just going to pull it all a little bit closer and use the truck to kind of spread it out best I can as close to here as I can. This is not going to be easy, but I'll let you guys watch from here. All right, that's very hard to do with the tractor. The problem is you can't get so close to this that you need to get a lot closer. So they were get it pretty close over here, just not flattened down at all. I ended up digging too much rock out over here. So I'm gonna take some of this extra that I piled up on both sides and kind of fill back into this little low spot. And then over here, I don't know. I just don't want, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not a great tractor operator. My brother's a whole lot better than me. And I'll also tell y'all something else too. This was a really bad mistake. 
getting or allowing rock this size to be brought in here has just been a huge mistake. It's fine on the driveway part. Driving up and down is no problem. But walking across this large rock, guys, you could twist an ankle very easily here. As a matter of fact, I have to kind of walk so flat-footed just to be sure that I don't end up twisting an ankle. These larger rock uh, may be cheaper, and that was my problem, trying to go cheaper. But I'll tell you what, it's not easy to walk across. And so until I get it flattened down nice, it's going to be really, really treacherous. So got to be careful. But uh, anyway, that's what I'm doing today. And uh, like I said, I've gone too deep over here. And what I've done is end up going down to the base level. And I want to make sure I don't do that. We don't want to have muddy spots. So a couple of spots need to be cleaned up a little bit. So... Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.